Hey guys, so today I have a box break of 0708 MVP. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do both of these or just one. If I do both, I'll edit it into the video after. But these boxes cost me $26.95, so it was a pretty good deal, and I figured I would try it out. Also apologize for my little bit of a different setup. I am on a road trip, but I knew that I would be checking out all the hockey card stores that I passed by, so I had my stuff in the background just in case I wanted to do a break, and here I am. And then, uh, speaking of, now we'll shift over back to MVP, but um, the store owner had some of these rookies. So these are basically, um, these are the rookie redemptions. So from cards 350 and up were the rookie redemptions, as you can see. This is a long time ago, it's old, but you would get three cards, uh, three card rookie pack, and you would get three of these cards. So again, I'll show you, they are all numbered past 350 and they're the better players, you know, Lucic, Nicholas Backstrom, Carey Price, Taves, all those players, Kane. So unfortunately we cannot get any of those good rookies in here. As you can see, the rookie redemption cards are one in 72, but they're worthless. But what I do collect from this set is the one-on-one -on -one jerseys. So these are one in 48 in retail. I'll show my collection of one-on-one -on -one jerseys on screen, but I love these things. They're not too expensive. They're nice to collect. And I'm trying to really, I guess, collect them all one day. So hopefully we pull one of those. I also do love the one-on-one -on -one autographs. I have a couple of those, but those are tough pulls. And otherwise, we're just looking at some basic inserts one and two and MVP rookies one and two. So combine those odds and you do get an insert or rookie in every pack, I believe. So let's get started. Eight cards per pack and 24 packs per box. And yeah, I figured uh, with the cheap a box price of only $26.95 for 24 packs. I figured I would try a couple boxes out and then maybe uh, build a set to go along with all my one-on-one -on -one jerseys since building sets is always fun and there at least is some sentimental value here from when I was a kid. So let's get started with 708 MVP. Again, really hoping for a jersey or even an autograph. That would be awesome. But let's see what we have in here. I know there were some. I know there were some decoys. Uh, let's see here. So we'll save the thicker packs until the end. So with with the two boxes, we should at least get one jersey card. As you can see, those are a little thicker. But anyways, let's get started. MVP was always a really nice set. I started collecting it in 0506, and uh, I'm just kind of disappointed at the current MVP because I don't like the design very much. Otherwise, I would probably collect that as well. As you can see, these cards are just beautiful. They all have their little facsimile autograph. Um, nice white border, very clean card. Um, just overall an awesome looking design. So I wish they would go back to this, but uh, the newer stuff I'm not such a fan of. So we have Glenn Murray, Eric Lindros, Danny Heatley, Thomas Placanitz, Marc-Andre Fleury, Jay Pandolfo, and uh, Jonathan Sigalet, rookie. But yeah, I don't mean that the new MVP is a bad product. I do think it's cool and they have a lot of cool uh, different things you can get in there but uh, just the design is not it's not as good looking to me as this stuff was all right we have Colby Armstrong Rod Brindamore Jarrett Stoll Kimo Timonen Wojtek Wolski Stephen Weiss Anze Kopitar and a game faces of Jerome McGinley so there's our first insert and yeah between what I already had and what I would get in this box I should get the entire base set. All right, cards are not sticking too bad. We have Shane Doan, Tyler Arneson, Brian McCabe, Alex Ald, Travis Zajac, Henrik Zetterberg, Nikolai Zherdev, and a beautiful insert here, New World Order of Marc-Andre Fleury. Again, the cards are just so clean, really, can't say enough about them. They look awesome. All right, we have Brian Campbell, Darcy Tucker, Thomas Holmstrom, Jody Shelley, nice enforcer there, Jason Spezza, 
Alexander Steen, Mika Kiprasov, and P.A. Parento. Now we have John Madden, Pascal Leclerc, Matthew Schneider, Phil the Thrill Kessel, J.S. Shiger, his auto is awesome, David Legwand, John Michael Lyles, and a monumental moments of Mike Medano, another solid looking insert. Can't think of Mike Medano without thinking of how Mike Babcock screwed him and didn't let him, I think it was, didn't let him hit 1500 games by benching him in the last game or scratching him, pretty sure. Uh, now we have Vekalov Prospel, Brian Rafalski, Alex Radulov, early card on the Preds there, second year I believe. Uh, Andrew Brunette, Johan Holmquist, awesome looking Sherwood pads there. I'm a goalie so I always notice the pads. Vladislav Schmid, Matt Cullen, must have been old at this, oh no, he was young at this point, only nine seasons in. And another rookie of Martin Lojic. Not sure what happened to him. Actually haven't heard of him. All right, we have Rick Nash, Patrick Eves, Eric Stahl, who just got traded, UC Jokinen, Kevin Bieksa, Brent Seabrook, UC Markinen, cool card there, and a MVP heart candidates of Danny Heatley, another gorgeous looking card front and back, and that was back of course when he was a very solid player, one of the league's superstars. Alright, it looks like we have a decoy in here, didn't feel that thick. Joffrey Lupul, Matthew Lombardi, Jason Bakashua, interesting how he got a card, he was never really a mainstay goalie. Alex Tange, Mark Antoine Puglio, Pavel Dimitra, oops, Olaf Kolzig, and Jameson Hunt, another rookie that I haven't really heard of. It's crazy how hard it actually is to make the NHL. You see so many of these rookies, but they never really end up uh, panning out. So it's very crazy to see that. You see that a lot with the young guns as well. So we have um, Marty Turco, Ryan Whitney, Mark Recchi, Martin Straka, uh, Ruslan Fedotenko, scored the cup winner, I believe, in 03 04. Chris Pronger, Martin Biron, and a Miku Koivu New World Order Finland card there. Again, awesome, awesome, like kind of map looking card. Really love the design. Continuing on. Packs are not that easy to open. I just don't want to open properly for some reason. We have Entero Nidimaki. Alex Kovalev. Nikolai Habibulin. Milan Mahalik. Sheldon Surrey. Mark Edward Vlasic, Maxime Lapierre, and Patrick Coletta, rookie. I think he was another enforcer as well. Seven games, he already had 21 penalty minutes, but that's cool. Um, we have Joe Thornton, Alish Hemsky, Stefan Yell, Jeff Hamilton. Don't quite remember him. Did have a good year there, though. RJ Umberger, Roman Hammerlick, Steve Bernier. And a monumental moments of Roberto Luongo with those older, um, older Canucks jerseys, talking about how he made 72 saves in a 5-4 overtime win. Moving on here, a lot of packs. We have Mike Camilleri, Keith Ballard, Scott Gomez, Damon Lankow, Jeff Carter. Pavel Datsuk, Tuomo Rutu, and another New World Order, this time the Slovenian of Anze Kopitar. Then we have Patrick Sharp, Keith Tuchuk, um, Thrasher's, Thrasher's picture there, that's cool. 
Corey Stillman, Alexei Ponikarovsky, Josef Stumpel, uh, Ryan Getzlaff, Ray Emery, and a David Clarkson rookie. Interesting story about Corey Stillman, but my old hairdresser knew him and went to his Stanley Cup party um, in uh, North, I guess it was Northern Ontario, some cottage somewhere, and uh, I was lucky enough to have him autograph a few pictures for me there. Uh, now we have Manny Fernandez, the legend Yarmir Yager, Mike Sillinger, Ilya Kovalchuk, Chris Clark, Jordan Stahl, who would probably be a second year card, I believe, Brendan Witt, and a Monumental Moments, nice looking card there, of a young Sidney Crosby. So yeah, I guess I'm just really hoping for an autograph to sneak out at me. That would really be awesome. Um, anyways, we have Bill Guerin, now the GM of Dallas, although I'm not so sure, sorry, GM of the Wild, but I'm not so sure about his capabilities just yet. Jay Bomeister, Barrett Jackman, Dan Boyle, Oop, these cards are really sticking. Johnny Oduya, Jamie Langenbrunner, Evgeny Malkin second year card, and a game faces of Peter Forsberg on the Nashville Predators. Yeah, I say that about Bill Guerin because I do not like that stall trade at all, but um, there are pros and cons to it, I guess. Just to me, Stahl is a much better player than Johansson despite his age. We have Daniel Briere, Matt Sundin, Simone Gagne, Ryan Smith, Cammy Ward, Jamie Langenbrenner, Evgeny Malkin again, and a New World Order of Alex Ovechkin, Russia. Awesome. Now we have Brian Gionta, Gilbert Brule, kind of a bust there, Brad Richards, Michelle Ule, uh, Merrick Malik, Bobby Holik, Brent Johnson, pretty good backup there, and Ryan Parent from the Philadelphia Flyers. So now we have Andy McDonald, Lee Stemniak, Joe Pavelski, doing very well for the Stars right now, Owen Nolan on the uh, Coyotes just traded to the Flames, so that's later on in his career. Chris Kunitz, Chris Pronger, Martin Biron again, and a monumental moments of Daniel Briere at the All-Star game. I believe he scored, uh, oh no, he just had a goal and four assists. All right, that's cool. All right, now we have Johan Franzen, the mule. Thomas Vokun, Ian White, Mike Ribeiro, Mark Edward Vlasic, Maxime Lapierre, and well, you won't believe that, but we did get the um, we did get a rookie redemption for three cards, scratch off to reveal the number. So this would have been, I guess, a three. Yeah, it says a three card rookie pack. So we did get a one in seventy two pull, one in three box pull there, but of course. I'm going to have to find those rookies on eBay or something because that is no good anymore. And we do have a David Krejci rookie, so that's actually probably one of the better ones you can get in the box. Um, apart from, I think the best one would be Yaro Halak, and then the rest, uh, yeah, there's Halak and Krejci, and then the rest would be all the redemptions. All right, we have Philippe Kuba, Mike Knubel, Taylor Hyatt, Oli Jokinen, Ben Eager, another Jordan Stahl and Brendan Witt, we've already seen those cards, and we have a Yarmir Yager Game Faces, awesome card there. So now we move on to our four thicker packs, hopefully one of them's got a jersey, but we shall see. Pretty easy to tell back in the day, as you can see, the cardboard decoy stands out pretty good. So we've got Sammy Salo, Michael Rosival. Patrick O'Sullivan, unfortunate what happened with him. If you get a chance to read his book, I highly recommend it. Ed Jovanovsky, Rob Blake, Chris Phillips, Saku Koivu, Big Decoy, and not bad, Franz Nielsen rookie. A little bit of a bummed out corner there, but not, I guess it'll be fine. So there's another rookie. 
Moving on, just a couple packs left. Another decoy. Oh, these are really sticking. All right, we have a nice Martin Brodeur. Guillaume Latendresse. Patrick Laleem. Jonathan Chichu. Michael Ryder. Jason Pominville, Eric Brewer, and a rookie of Christ Barch. Again, another pretty bummed up corner at the bottom there. That's unfortunate. Maybe it's the way I'm opening them or something with these uh, thicker packs. Anyways, moving on. Oh, it does look like we pulled a jersey. Sweet. Now, hopefully, it's one I don't have. But we shall see. Yep. That's a jersey, all right. All right. So we have Yuri Novotny, Merrick Svatos, Justin Williams, Chris Drury, another Jason Pominville, and another Eric Brewer. Seeing a lot of doubles now. We'll go from the back. We have an Aaron Rome, rookie. And we will just reveal this now. Who is it going to be? Oh, nice. Alex Kovalev on the back, slightly two color. And who's the other side? Glenn Murray, cool. So I do not have this one, and it doesn't seem to be a, I mean, these are pretty good players. So it's not, exa I don't think it's like a super common one, um, but very nice card there. That'll go right into my collection of these jerseys. So that's awesome. Very happy with that. Again, for, 20, for 27 bucks for the box, like I'm not complaining at all. It's a fun rip and getting a jersey card out of it now. And of course my camera or my phone died on me while filming but anyways we do have one more pack to go and one more decoy and one more rookie so Tony Amonti, Mark Savard, Brendan Shanahan, Yuri Hoodler, Sergei Fedorov, Bobby Holik, Brent Johnson and our final rookie would be Matt Ellis. Here's our hit recap of course I will do box number two in a separate video because this one just took way too long but we have our nice big stack of base there, probably probably half the base set right there. Um, we have our various inserts, all nice looking inserts. And we have 12 rookies, I believe. Yep, 12 rookies, 12 inserts. And then we did get a nice one-on-one -on -one jersey of Glenn Murray and Alexei Kovalev, as well as a rookie redemption that's useless, but it's still cool to pull anyways. So yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching this break of 0708 MVP Retail. Hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, make sure to like and subscribe for more hockey card breaks and I'll see you guys in the next video.